and welcome to Capture. I'm Jesse Gomez. The Study Abroad Office has recently made some changes within their programs that may affect students interested in studying abroad. Here's Stephanie Fuentes with the story. Students might want to listen up. Changes are being made that can affect your study abroad experience. As we sat down with Carrie Ulmer, the Director of Study Abroad, she gave us a breakdown of these new alterations. Uh, the Biola Heidelberg semester closed their doors uh, and Geneva Rome uh, program closed their doors too. In Trinity Christian College, um, those are being removed from our program offerings. Omar went on to give a description of what the Group 1 and 2 programs are and how they have changed this year. Uh, group 1 programs reflect programs that uh, receive full financial aid package at APU, so you get your academic scholarship, your uh, federal and your state financial aid, and those are primarily programs that are operated solely by APU. Group two is a federal, the students get federal and state financial aid, and but they actually pay the actual program cost plus a few APU fees. One of the programs that used to be in Group 1 is moving to Group 2 starting in spring of 2016. Um, that's the bestsemester.com programs with the CCCU. That one is moving um, because it doesn't really, it's not fully APU run or facilitated. So it just makes uh, qualitative sense to move it to Group 2. Some students, such as Connor Olson, see these changes as an inconvenience. The junior English major has now seized his plans to study abroad. Well, I was going to do the Oxford program over in Oxford, England, but I learned that you cannot take 17 credits over there, which is the amount I needed to graduate on time. Well, I've been hearing rumors about it, and there's a lot of people really dissatisfied because they weren't able to go on the trips that they wanted to, I included, myself included. If you would like more information on any other programs Study Abroad has to offer, visit their website at www.apu.edu slash studyabroad or call 626-857-2440. So there you have it. Be sure to visit Study Abroad office on East Campus if you are interested in the opportunities being offered today. APU Res Live hosted a fun run 5K last Saturday morning. Roughly 100 students participated in the event sporting the Outdoor Soccer League and the Ride for Water campaign. Along with the run, there was a free health fair from 8 to 12 and a Zumba dance warm-up. The 5K runners had to go through a slip and slide and several other fun obstacles along the way. And now, let's toss it to everyone's favorite sports anchor, John Root. Thanks for the intro, Jesse. We saw another exciting week in the world of APU athletics. The baseball team kicked off their season this month and are off to a hot start with a league-best 9-2 record. On Monday, first baseman Jordan Brower was named the Player of the Week by the PathQuest Conference. Currently, the team is ranked 22nd in the nation and may move up the rankings after Tuesday's win over UC San Diego. Be sure to go out and support the boys at their next home game Friday, March 6th at 4 p.m. as they take on Point Loma. The women's swim team finished fourth this past weekend at the PCSC Conference Championships. APU finished with 820.5 points, which was just behind Cal State East Bay with 824 points. With the combined scores from swimming and diving, APU was able to hang on to fourth place, defeating eight other teams. APU will be sending one swimmer and two divers to Indianapolis March 9th to compete in the Division II Nationals. The Cougs took on arch rival CBU in the most highly anticipated games of the year Saturday. The night started out with a thriller in the women's game. After CBU tied the game with a three-pointer with just under three seconds left in regulation, the Cougs were able to climb their way back and beat CBU 92-84 to in overtime. In the men's game, in, a front, in front of a crowd of over 3,000 in the Felix Event Center, the Lancers took an early 9-2 lead, but it was all Cougars from then on. Going on a 19-4 run and ultimately getting revenge from their loss two weeks ago with an 84-68 victory. The top performer of the night was senior Troy Leaf, whose game-high 29 points moved him to 8th in APU's all-time scoring list with 1,573 career points. Back to you, Jesse. Thanks for that, John. Now moving on to U.S. News. President Obama vetoed a bill Tuesday which had approved construction of the Keystone XL pipeline. Supporters have promoted the bill as a jobs measure. However, environmentalists continue to oppose it, fearing the potential contributions to climate change. The proposed pipe would run from Alberta, Canada to Nebraska, where it would join an existing pipe to carry more than 800,000 barrels of oil each day. This was just the third veto of his presidency. 
A Metrolink train en route to Los Angeles hit a vehicle in Oxnard, California on Tuesday, causing some of the train cars to derail. The fiery crash occurred early Tuesday morning near the intersection of 5th Street and Rice Avenue in Oxnard. According to reports, more than 30 people were injured in the accident. No fatalities were reported. The 87th Academy Awards wrapped up Sunday. The film Birdman stole its show with four Oscars, including Best Picture and Achievement in Directing. Julianne Moore won actress in a leading role for her performance in Still Alice. Actor in leading role went to Eddie Redmayne for The Theory of Everything. Common and John Legend won Best Original Song with Glory from Selma. Finally, with spring break just about a week away, Capture producer Coco Toribio took a closer look at what students around campus have planned for the week off. This spring break, I'm going to be going to Vegas, but not for the normal traditional reason to turn up. Instead, I'm going to be babysitting a three-year-old. So turn up with the kids, babysitting. I'm going to go probably to TJ go with my aunt on a missions trip over there. Enjoying the beach, kicking back with old friends that I haven't seen in a while, coming home from school from college, the usual Southern California kid thing to do, just messing around, enjoying company with old friends. Over spring break, I'm gonna go to Monterey Bay to go see the vibes of a different campus and compare them to APU. I will be here in good old Azusa, just chilling and enjoying the great California weather. I'm going to San Diego to hang out with my family at this hotel, Rich Carlton Hotel. I'm excited to go away from the school for a bit. That's all we have for today. Please remember to like our page on Facebook and follow us on Instagram and Twitter at APU Capture. Also check back next show for the final SGA voting results. Thank you for watching this edition of Capture.